Hello! In this short video instruction I will quickly demonstrate how you can use Overly Creator to create your own web-based AR experiences. In order to begin with, please visit createoverlyapp.com website and log in to your account. So I will log in to my account. Now I am in the project view and uh, my account is completely empty. So first thing we have to do is to create a new project this will be like a folder where we can store your experiences so let's give it a name and let's choose a web-based real world experience this can be run directly from your phone web browser and the difference from the app based is that with the app based you have to download a mobile app so this is the most popular one so we will use this one now the 3D editor uh, viewer is opened and we have several features here. We can use a 3D model, we can import something from the library, for example duck, frog or anything else you can imagine. Just there is a, a simple 3D models uh, prepared for AR um, experiences or you can use upload feature to upload your own 3D models. We have other features like NFTs, if you have a link to NFT you can import it here or you can create a 3D text and add it to your scene in combination with other objects so we can uh, change the colors and uh, many other features but uh, we will not the 3D text we will not use 3D text for this time so we will delete it the least, last but not the least is the canvas feature uh, this is a very good feature for artists if you have a a uh, picture of your canvas, you can upload it here and it will create a 3D uh, plane with your your canvas that you can place on the wall to showcase to your customers or visitors to your in your museum or in your Shopify store or any other place you can imagine. But let's uh, return to 3D models. So I have already prepared a 3D model for this demo and I will upload it from my computer. Let's take this one. Let's wait a little bit while the file is analyzed and imported. It can take several seconds. So yeah, it took me like 10 seconds maybe. So it's in the scene, it's a dancing uh, Santa. Let's zoom in. And what I can do is, with the, by pressing this button, I can move it around in the scene and change the position. With uh, this tool I can rotate it or I can change the size and scale it. Here in the uh, right side I can see some objects uh, which it's suggested to leave it like that. It's uh, mostly for reference. This is a real-time object so you can scale your 3D object to understand how it would look like in comparison uh, with the real coach in the room. So that's why we we placed those objects here, but they will not appear in the final experience that you will publish. They are only for your reference. So this is your object. We can see here uh, the position in the scene, the rotations, the scales, and we also can uh, change the placement. We can place it on the floor or we can place it on the wall because when you are uh, publishing the experience, you can scan floor or the wall with the phone and it can place on both of those those planes. So if you will choose place on wall, then the phone will automatically recognize a vertical wall and place the 3D object there. But we will use uh, the ground feature, and this is the default one, and uh, we will hit the publish button to see what's happening here. this process also takes like several seconds and it's already published we can scroll down see the 3d model and to view it in the room you have to take your phone press the button view in the room and it will generate a QR code just open the QR code scanner your camera I will quickly demonstrate how it looks like from my phone scan the QR code so this is how it looks like from the, from my phone you can see a 3D model here, I can zoom in, zoom out and this is the button view in the room so let's press it now 
it open it now this uh, camera view so you can see how it works I can zoom in zoom out I can scale it I can rotate it and I can re record a video or make a, sc a screenshot and share it with my friends and that's it usually it can be done in less than one minute so this one this uh, demo took a little bit longer just to explain all the features.